this class, we will discuss girdle thickness, culet size, and fluorescence. We'll start with fluorescence. As a diamond forms in the earth, trace minerals are sometimes trapped inside the stone, which will cause a diamond to glow under ultraviolet light. Nearly 40% of all diamonds fluoresce to some degree. And when we grade diamonds, we record the level of intensity. The fluorescent grades are none, if there's no trace of fluorescence, faint for a slight trace, then comes medium fluorescence, strong fluorescence, and at the end, very strong fluorescence. Many internet diamond sellers have convinced consumers that the best diamond is one without fluorescence. Well, that's just not true. The fact is, a diamond with faint to medium fluorescence will actually look whiter and appear more brilliant than a diamond without fluorescence. This is especially true of diamonds in the H to J color range. The blue fluorescence gives these diamonds a much whiter look. What I don't recommend are diamonds that are so fluorescent, they actually appear milky or hazy in natural light. If the diamond certificate says strong or very strong fluorescence, then you should view the diamond in person before you make the purchase. There are two other grading factors listed on a diamond certificate that you should pay attention to, girdle thickness and culet size. Girdle thickness is very important because when the girdle gets either too thick or too thin, it will throw off the diamond's overall proportions causing light leakage. Thicker girdles in particular are a chronic problem. You should pay particular attention to this issue when shopping for a diamond. On the other hand, if the girdle is too thin, the outer edge of the diamond becomes more susceptible to chipping, like this. Girdles can be finished in various ways. I prefer a faceted girdle, which takes more time and effort to polish, but enhances the brilliance and significantly reduces the chances of the diamond chipping. There's also the rough girdle, which gives the appearance of a white frosted line going across the stone. This is typically present in older diamonds. And then there is the polished girdle, which has a smooth glass-like finish. Culet size is measured where the diamond comes to a point at the bottom of the pavilion, and to what degree that point has been polished flat. Keeping this point not only makes the diamond look better, but it also increases the brilliance. However, years ago, cutters thought that this point could cause the diamond to chip, so they would polish off the tip of the pavilion. Remember, these details add value and should be looked at very closely.